Is there another button? Uh, oh, there's like mm -hmm. a record button. Hi, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Mary. I'm Blake. This is my boyfriend, Blake. I was just thinking, I feel like I have things in my teeth right now. Let me see. You don't, do I? You're like, yeah. No. Okay, we're fine. We just had dinner, and now we're sitting here, and we're gonna film a Q&A for you guys, but it's gonna be health and wellness focused. So I have some questions here, and we have some good questions. We have a lot of questions. So we're just gonna kind of run through them, and yeah, just full scent. And do these questions for you guys, because I think there are some really good <clears throat> ones. And so if you're into health and wellness, wanna get into working out, this video is for you. We're gonna give you all of our trip tips and tricks, and yeah, without further ado, let's just hop right on into the video. Also, if you haven't already done so um, and you're new here, subscribe. Do it. Um, also, follow me on Insta. It's linked down below. And follow him. It's just at Wags. W-A-E-G-S. Okay. I feel like you like don't want me to promo your Insta, but... That's fine. I'm going to be posting once I go to Aspen. Oh, yeah. He's going to Colorado. Yeah. So, so that's fun. Um, okay, so why don't we just start out and you can just tell me a little bit um, how you got into working out and eating healthy. How did I get started? I think it rooted from high school football. All my friends were into like working out, lifting. Um, I don't know. It was all about like getting big and stuff. So lifting was always a part of my life. And then my brothers always worked out as well um, and kind of dieted for like, you know, the spring break bod. So just through that, like, I would do the same, kind of, and then going to college, uh, my diet was up and down, like, freshman year I hit a pretty low point, and then uh, got really after it after freshman year, and then kind of got a little more consistent with it. And how about you, Mary? Okay, so I got into working out after my junior year of high school. I was a gymnast growing up. When I got into high school, I stopped doing gymnastics. I honestly gained a ton of weight. I felt like shit. I was eating like shit. And I grew up in a household where my mom fed us really healthy food. Um, but I would just like go out and hang out with my friends. So I would eat kind of shitty. And I just felt gross. I didn't feel confident in myself. And so my mom was like, just start going to yoga. So I started going to yoga really like every day and just cleaned up my diet. I didn't cut out anything. I didn't cut out dairy. I didn't cut out gluten. Um, and I did have a period after that where I did definitely go too far with things and struggle with a little bit of an eating disorder. Um, and since then I'm kind of back to where I was when I had first started eating healthy, where I don't restrict myself. Um, we'll get more into that later in the video, but that's really how I got into working out and eating healthy. Okay, um, so your gen general definition of health and wellness. All right, so I would say like my philosophy behind it all, and because I'm not super, in my mind, I don't feel like I'm super strict because I have like basic rules where I, whenever I'm at home and stuff and like with Mary, I'm eating just like whole foods, like natural foods, mostly organic, just everything that's like, good for you that comes out of the ground or like if it's animal product like good animal meat um, and then if I go out I'll eat whatever kind of but I still try to like stick to like healthier foods but I'll still have like a burger once in a while and then wellness and stuff with uh, I guess I like I do intermittent fasting and then I okay. also I know, it's just part of it. It's just like a whole like... So basically you define health and wellness as balance. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's mostly just about balance between everything with working out, movement, and all of it. Um, I think I just define health and wellness as like finding the connection between your mind, body, and spirit, however you do that. So I think everything is so interconnected and I think in order to have a healthy relationship with your like mental internal state um, and have just like a positive body, you really need to treat both of those states really well and really love yourself. Um, and so I think I just define health and wellness as like having a good balance between that mind, body, spirit connection. And again, balance, like, I don't think wellness and health is all about doing the right thing. I think it's listening to your body 
and really hearing what you need um whether that be mentally physically just in general so that's kind of my definition of health and wellness i don't know if that was all over the place but no i agree do you do intermittent fasting <clears throat> yes i do <laughs> yeah so i don't really i'm kind of strict about it in the morning where i won't eat until like 10. so it's kind of like I'll like do all like my morning activities, whatever that consists of, and I have like breakfast to look at, look forward to at 10 o'clock. So it's not like intruding on my morning at all, so I could get things done and then 10 o'clock hits and I'm eating breakfast. But at night, we're I, bad. I don't really like think about it as much. We're normally, <laughs> we're not bad, but yeah. We normally don't eat past 10. Yeah. 9.30 or 10. So he'll do like the 12-12 thing if you know what intermittent fasting is. Yeah, I'm not super like restricting to like six hours or anything, but that's just like what works for me. And Yeah. Yeah. And I also think like with this stuff, we're giving you like what we do, but everything is different for every person. Everything is different for every body. So just know that and do what works for you. Um, in terms of me, I do do intermittent fasting. Um, this is something that, again, I'm not super strict about, but it just kind of started happening. I don't get hungry when I wake up in the morning and I love having a morning um, where I don't have to think about food. So I usually just eat at 11 at the earliest, but usually lately it's been like noon. Um, and then again, I stop eating around, I would say like 9, 30, 10, we're usually yeah. done eating, but we have dessert every night. So it really just depends. The other night I was, eating a pint of ice cream at 11 p.m. So, you know, oh, yeah. life gets to you <laughs> and that kind of stuff like happens and you can't be too hard on yourself about it, you know, like whatever. Yeah. Um, so long story short, yeah, I do. If you want us to talk more about intermittent fasting, we would love to because there are so many crazy benefits of it that yeah. he knows. <laughs> um, how many times a week do you work out? I try to hit a minimum of five days a week and Sometimes that consists of lifting, sometimes it's uh, going for a run, yoga. But yeah, five, six days a week I like to hit. Maybe one day of rest. Hit? <laughs> that was hilarious. What, what does that mean? <laughs> what? Hit? Hit like a goal? Oh, like hit I thought you were saying like, yeah, five, six days I like to hit. Like you were saying like you're like hitting the gym or whatever? Yeah, I'm hitting the gym. <laughs> um, but, yeah, nice. I think that's a great like balance between. Yeah. yeah. Um, he's better at taking rest days than I am. I probably work out six or seven days a week. Um, but actually, no, I definitely work out six or seven days a week. But I. I, feel, I, like, I feel like I'm forced to like take a day off sometimes just with work and then. If we're I traveling. Don't know. Yeah, we're doing stuff where I just don't have time to work out, which sucks. Yeah. But yeah, sometimes it happens. I tend to work out more because I find that it really helps with my mental state, like with just like my anxiety and stuff. I hate to be that person who's like my anxiety, but like actually like I have a very like mind that's kind of all over the place and I find working out just kind of sets me up. And it's just kind of like my time, you know? So yeah, I definitely do some sort of movement seven days a week, whether that be going for like a four mile walk or whatever, um, but like six to seven days a week, I'm at a workout class or at the gym. So. Yeah, working out's great for your mind. I love it. I mean, there's I seriously, so much that's proven yeah. that it just helps yeah, with anxiety and everything. Like I'm looking forward to my workout tomorrow. I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. Um, What do you do for workouts? What do I do? Mm -hmm. uh, I mostly lift. Uh, recently I've been training more for my hiking trip so i've been doing a lot more stairs a lot more legs running stuff like that but i like to switch it up depending on like if i have a goal in mind um but lifting has been my primary form of working out and then yoga once in a while um i used to be like yoga girl um but for the past like year now not even year yoga is my number one it's always been my number one um, but lately I've been super into Pilates, bar classes, um, sculpt classes. So everything that's kind of like yoga-esque, but not like just yoga now. Um, 
So my favorite is probably Pilates. I really like Pilates. Um, and now I've been going to the gym and doing just like, I would say more so like hit workouts type, um, which is new for me. But again, Pilates is my OG fave. Okay. Um, do you follow a diet slash what diets have you done in the past? I follow a routine right now more so than like a diet. Let's go back a little so they can see full head. All right. So I don't really follow like a true diet. I mean, it's just eating wholesome foods, eating uh, mostly vegetables. I have like my oatmeal in the morning with like protein in it, uh, blueberries and yogurt and then like lunch i just have like a salad avocado toast and dinner is just pretty much all veggies and some type of protein whether that be salmon chicken something like that and then dessert but i've done i've done very low carb diet in the past that's kind of hard to like sustain but i've done that um i guess it's different for everyone some people love it uh yeah, I, I'm not too like into diets and following stuff because it's hard to just like follow a certain diet rather than just following a lifestyle. Yeah. How about you? Um, I would no. I don't do a diet. Um, for me, I just realized that's too restrictive. Um, I need to be able to try. Like for my like, I'm such a like point blank person that for me if I follow a diet I'll take it too seriously and I need to be able to try like the piece of steak just because that's what's healthy for me you know um I don't eat much red meat I honestly don't eat much meat at all very rarely do I eat meat um very rarely do I eat cheese but have I completely cut it out no I do not eat gluten really unless it's like uh, homemade bread from a bakery. That's when I'll eat gluten. Um, I think it also like with gluten and dairy, it really depends on the quality that you're getting rather than like the gluten and dairy itself. So, um, gluten minimal, dairy minimal. If I'm going to eat gluten and dairy, it's going to be in a small quantity and it's going to be fresh, like really good stuff. Um, what diets have I followed in the past? Um, I was like vegan for a while, honestly, like a solid amount of time. Um, but I just found that like my energy wasn't there. I just felt super restricted. Like my mom will like, we'll eat a lot of veggies, but she'll cook with butter. She'll cook with ghee. And I just felt like I like, I just felt restricted. Um, and so I think it's better for me not to be. So that's really all I was. Now I just consider myself plant-based, um, which I love that term because I just don't think it's as restrictive and yeah. Yeah, technically. I just I'm, eat a lot of plants. I'm plant-based too. Yeah. Kinda. Yeah, for the most part. And I agree with like the dairy and stuff because I used to not eat any dairy or bread or anything like that. But you kind of like changed me a little bit to like look towards like healthier dairy options. So like if I'm eating Greek yogurt, it's like organic Greek yogurt. Yeah. And stuff like that, yeah. When I met Blake, he, I like wanted to make him bread one morning, like avocado toast, and he was like, I've never had avocado toast. I don't eat bread, I don't like it. And I was like, do you I not like, like it, it or are you like afraid yeah. of it? And he was like, I don't need the carbs, it's like pointless. And I was like, just eat the fucking toast. And now he eats toast every day. Yeah, so. every single day. Yeah. Um, okay, you kind of already went through this, but why don't you just like zoom through it one more time, a normal day of eating for us. All right, so. Just like zoom, <laughs> zoom through, through it, because really, you already did it. All right. But, Breakfast is oatmeal with protein in it, um, berries in it, Greek yogurt. Uh, then I'll normally have like a pear or like an apple with it. Uh, lunch is a salad, sometimes some roasted veggies like leftovers, uh, avocado toast, eggs, uh, dinner. Just trying to rush me. Dinner is roasted veggies. Uh, protein and then uh, dessert. Whatever Cute. dessert would be, yeah. And dessert for him changes. Yeah. Kind of has been changing for could me. Could be ice too. cream, could be what? Chocolate. Zucchini bread. Yeah. yeah, whatever. Um. Okay, for me, 
wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy, have um, hot water with lemon, and then I usually am about to go on my walk with Grayson <laughs> because that's become a part of the routine. Make a black coffee, um, La Cologne Cold Brew is my fave. So La Cologne Cold Brew for the walk. Go on my walk, um, sometimes go to the gym, maybe go to a work workout class, whatever I'm feeling. Come back, make a juice. Green juice fave right now is cucumber, celery, kale, watermelon, lime, super good. And then by that time I would say it's probably like 11, drinking my juice. Um, probably go for another walk, whatever. You don't need to hear my whole day, but then I'll make another coffee before lunch. That one I'll usually put some oat milk in. Cold brew with oat milk, fave. Um, then lunch is two pieces of avocado toast and a salad. That is like my fave. Wait, I didn't tell them what breakfast was. Yeah, because you're going through your whole day rather than <laughs> just what you eat in a day. Breakfast is fruit with coconut yogurt and Lunches. topped with like I top it with like toasted coconut I have a what I eat in a day up so you can totally check that out I'll link it down we have below. four minutes oh my god okay um avocado toast for lunch dinner is usually veggies <laughs> and then dessert is chocolate or ice cream lately and peanut butter always because I'm obsessed with peanut butter, All right, peanut butter with breakfast too okay um how to stay healthy when going out to dinner. Veggie sides. That's what I do. Uh, do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> I just eat whatever. Yeah, he kind of does. He's just like whatever. But it's like, I know. once in a while, okay, I just, yeah. 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 Um, do you count calories or macros? I do Me. not. <laughs> I don't, but I do like a balance of macros. I don't even know what macros are. How bad is that? But I never macros know. Macros are just protein, carbs, and fat. Micros are actually, actually I good. no, I actually did know that from my nutrition school. But no, I don't count my macros. I don't think there's anything wrong with knowing your macros and your balance because But don't be get but don't get obsessed with it. Yeah. Some people are better with that. You could eat I don't know. 300 Some calories of McDonald's fries or you could eat 300 calories of almonds. Which one do you think is going to make you gain weight? Probably the McDonald's fries. That's for our, Yeah, that's all the chemicals and shit in it. Yeah. Um, are any fruits and veggies off limits? No, I just don't eat okra because I don't like it. <laughs> no, but moderation with everything. If I eat a ton of broccoli and only broccoli, there comes a point where it's bad for me. True. Yeah. No, it's true. Eat as much broccoli as you want. Don't but moderation okay, we gotta go fast. The lighting is getting shitty. Moderation and variety. Yes. Shit, where did it go? Mm -hmm. Happen. Um, do you snack? I'm not a big snacker. But sometimes I'll have a snack before dinner because I get hungry. What about you? I eat nuts all day. He does eat nuts all day. <laughs> He's a big nut guy. Big well, nut I, eater. It's just big nut fridge. eater right over here. It's in my people. fridge and I'll just grab handfuls. And I don't know. I Every was, time I come yeah. in, he's got two handfuls of nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next question. <laughs> That's funny. Um, what's your favorite protein powder? I get one off of Amazon that's just, it's a grass-fed whey and it doesn't have like much in it. My body doesn't react to whey as like in a negative way. <laughs> so nice it's just, I can eat it without my stomach being like upset. So I like it. I'll link it down below for you guys. Yeah. But there's other like non-dairy ones or you could get a whey isolate, which is so much better for your stomach. Yeah, there's also Tropica Lean Vanilla Protein that's vegan, if you want that. It's really good. It tastes great in coffee. I love it. A little oat milk, frothing in the oat milk. Fire! Or in a smoothie. Um, how do I get enough protein? I probably don't. Um, but I'm fine. So, no, I just have like little things here and there. I eat a lot of nut butter. Like, a yeah. lot of nuts. Um, I have protein with pretty much every meal I have. Um, and I eat a lot of mushrooms too. They have a lot of protein. Um, but I do like, I make sure I'm getting in protein at every meal, so. That's you do get in protein, but yeah. I eat a lot of nut butter and I eat a lot of tahini, so that kind of helps. Um, do you eat dairy and gluten? We already kind of touched on this. Yes. Only if it's good quality. Yes. Is salt bad for you? 
So, salt, the scientific back. thing behind salt, they did studies on it, so salt has to be diluted in order for it to not like react to the, in the body in a negative way. And I'm pretty sure it has an inflammatory response if you just dump salt in your body. So, try not to use like unnatural salts. So if you're going to McDonald's, they're loading up salt in it, even though you might not taste it. If you're um, eating things with ingredients, and then you're dousing your food in salt, like if you're, okay, if you're eating foods with ingredients, and like, okay, let's say I eat some Lay's potato chips, pretty salty, high sodium content, and then you're like, okay, well Mary said that I can salt my veggies. So then you put three pounds of Himalayan pink salt on your veggies, you're getting too, oh, and you haven't worked out or drank a, any water that day, you're probably getting too much salt. But do I limit my salt? No, because I drink literally probably six liters of water a day and I sweat like a mofo when I go to hot heated classes and I literally eat like three things total that have label. So, so pretty much, it's okay to put salt on your food. Do it in moderation. If you think you're gonna eat something that has a high salt content in it, uh, drink a glass of water before to di dilute that salt. Um, and yeah, I mean, any type of like food that's on the shelves, it's not a bad thing to look at how much sodium is in it. Yeah. Yeah. Just know, be conscious of it. Yeah. All right, on that note, Peace oh, out. Is that All it? the slices. Yeah, that was it. All right. Bye, guys. Just in time for the darkness and dessert. Yeah, true. Okay. Ice cream time. Peace. Bye. Like and subscribe, guys. Do it.